Hello guys, my name is Elements Rodolfo and today I'm doing another Toy Network video. So today I'm going to be talking about Toy Network. So this website right here, this is called Manly Toy Direct, which is also known as Toy Network that makes cheap toys and plushes and licensed characters. Yeah, so uh, if you don't know what Manly Toy Direct, then you must know what Toy Network is. So Toy Network is a plush company that makes cheap plushes. So Toy Network was found in 1940, 1943, I think. Yeah, so that's long ago. All right, so this is Manly Toy Direct. This is a profile. I can't find. I can't find the Toy Network website, but I did found the Manly Toy Direct, which is Toy Network. So I can't. I can't go on the Wayback Machine, the website, because it's restricted in my Chromebook, so I can't do that. So this is the website, Manly Toy Direct, that makes plushes. All right, enough with that. All right, here's a bonus. A Sonic plush made by Toy Network. So, I just got this Sonic plush since Christmas back in the year 2019. Yeah, I believe. So, this is a 10-inch. It's like, it cost me $50. It's not that rare. It was from the internet. So, yeah, I'll give you a, a review. So, uh, so the plastic eyes, you can hear that, and they also shine. Yeah, you can see it. And also, I've been wanting this this Toy Network plush, I don't know, because it looks kind of cool, even though it's cheap looking, and Toy Network plushes are so cheap looking, and they don't look the best, but that's what I think that makes Toy Network so special, if you ask me. So, uh, his mouth, it's like string, and I can kind of move it. Yeah, and also, my last review on the Toy Network Sonic plush, it was just really short, like seconds. Yeah, it was the best, but this one's going to be longer. So, uh, the eyes can be actually twisted. Yeah, it looks weird. Yeah, and the brows, it's just flat cloth. So is the ears. They need a lot of Sonic plushes. The ears have like stuff so it can hold the shape, but it actually holds the shape. Maybe I'm just moving it. I don't know. So the quills, I like the quill style because from here you can see the Sonic quills, but most of the Sonic plushes not made by Toy Network, you can barely see the Sonic quills. But this Toy Network one, I can like see the Sonic quills and it looks kind of cool. But there's one problem about Sonic Quills in the back. It looks like a starfish, like the nose, that what it looks like. It looks kind of weird, but it's kind of cool that Toy Network was able to make the Sonic Quills a lot better. Because you can see the Sonic Quills rather than the other Sonic plushes made by plush companies and stuff. Okay, uh, what now? And the shoe, it's made with another material, I think. Yeah. And also, and this yellow string on the back of the shoe, I don't know why it's there for. And it also has that in the other shoe. And also, the belt is made of felt. It almost looks like it was cut in by 
a second grader during a arts and craft part project. And it's kind of horrible, but hey, it's Toy Network. So uh, another thing is that um the the belly. So which you can see, the belly, the shape of the belly doesn't look perfect. It looks like a an eye shape. If you see that, yeah. And also, this is what I call string detailing. So, Sonic has four fingers. So, the thing is, Classic Sonic has four fingers and Modern Sonic has five fingers. So, this is Modern Sonic and Modern Sonic is not supposed to have four fingers. He's supposed to have five, not four fingers. So, uh, but, hey, I still like this plush, though. And the plastic eyes, the eyes part, it kind of creeps people out, but I kind of find them charming. And his, and his nose is, like, thick. Yep. And also, I remember that, that Spin Dash Pro has this Sonic plush, the Toy Network, but his is like smaller than mine. Mine is like 10 inch and his is like smaller. And yeah, I remember Spinach Bro. He has this Sonic plush, the toy network. It looks a lot like me, but mine, the head looks a little bit bigger while Spinach Pro's is like a little bit smaller. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'll get this plush, uh, 8, because it's probably one of my favorite Sonic plushes. My first Sonic plush was the Tommy one. Yeah, I think that's how you say it, or Tony or Tommy, I don't know. It was the Tommy Sonic plush, but I didn't like it, so I got a Toy Network one, so I'll, I give this a 8 out of 10, because it's kind of my favorite I know it's cheap looking, but that's what makes Toy Network special to me, if you ask me. So, that was my Toy Network Sonic review. I hope you like it, and goodbye. And also, I hope you have a good day of Mario Lover Jr. Mario Lover Kings Jr. Day. That's in the Monday, so goodbye guys.